So I just proved along doing what I thought was right, tried to be a good person, but I still had that nagging feeling that there was something more, there was something missing. Remember, I always like asking questions, why are things the way that they are? So then I went to university to study formulation chemistry. Something I found interesting, and it led me to a deeper understanding about how things worked. I stopped thinking about religion altogether as I was surrounded by people from many different faiths, many different outlooks, people with no faith even. Also ashamed of some of my beliefs. I believed them, but didn't know why I did. And most of them didn't really make any sense. I couldn't rationalize my faith with what I was learning about. It was only after a complete loss of faith and a feeling of emptiness did I meet my friend who was learning about Quran only Islam. At last someone I could turn to in order to ask questions. It was a new way of looking at the world. I'd never ever seen this before. Of course I rejected everything he was saying, not because it didn't make any sense, and most of it did, but because it, it meant to be shedding nearly 15 years of indoctrinated information. It's not easy thinking you'd be wrong all those years. It did, however, feel very, very lonely. I missed that feeling of brotherhood in the Sufi order, that, that feeling of belonging. I went and told my family instantly, and they thought, oh, he's gone crazy. He's lost the plot. You're on the wrong path, Yasin. And you better repent. This is just really bad. They never heard of this thing before. So I retreated into myself, just went along with my business. Then the advent of the internet. It wasn't that long ago, but I really got a hold of the internet and I thought, hey, let's have a little look and see if I can do a search for some of my beliefs. And it was on Facebook that I found other people who shared some of my opinions. Facebook was an absolute constant for me, and others like myself who believed in Quran alone. In Birmingham, where I'm from, the prevalent form of Islam happens to be Sunni. So finding someone who's willing to admit that they might be considering having doubts about that is very difficult, which is where the internet really comes in. Wonderful websites like Free Minds, for example, that was one in one Ramadan in 2002, I believe it was, that I went on and thought, hey, these people have very similar views to me. Quranist.net, a new website where we are sharing similar viewpoints, and especially Facebook, very many, many, many discussions we all have. Meeting like-minded people on Facebook was absolutely fantastic. Here was a network of people who could provide support and help me to grow as an individual, but I could also share some of my understanding, share some of my, my intuitions on various things. It was this support that led me to develop my own understanding of what it means to be Muslim took me to where I am today, which is where I identify myself with the term Quranist. God has given me through the Quran the freedom to be free. We need to think about that for a second. Freedom, this is such an important concept that sometimes we are tied down to our internal dogma, our internal ideas of what is right and what is wrong. Because we're always chastising ourselves. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should do this. I need to run by a certain schedule. It's given me freedom. It's given me freedom to express my views. It's given me the freedom to, for example, have this meeting here today. For once in my life, I am happy. And the search seems to have ended on that aspect for now. The search for knowledge will never end. It will never end because, again, I don't know all the answers. And I'm sure, if, as a collective, we could always come close to some of those answers. But that's really where this comes about. Laden Quranist is just that. It's an umbrella term which encompasses all the different types of Quran alone and even in some cases God alone ideologies that exist. One of the ways the Christ mindset differs from others is that we do not pretend to have all the answers. We are all here to grow. We are all here to encourage other people to interpret Quran as they seem appropriate for themselves. I can't prescribe my ideas to anybody else. As I have some of my life experiences, as, as you see there, I'm sure a lot of you didn't have the same sort of upbringing I did or encounter the same scenarios. For example, I tend to approach the Quran with a Sufi type of mindset. And that's because I spent five years as a notion of me Sufi. There is cold hard rationality in there too. I'm a scientist as well. But that's the point. It's my turn to interpret as I see fit. And ultimately, the dimensions that we lend to the Quran are because of what you as a reader are actually bringing forward. Okay, enough about me. Let's talk about a task at hand. This cabin here is intended to act as a primer to being Quranist and also to adopting the mindset of someone 
who takes the Quran as a sole source of divine guidance. We should also hear and his freedom to quote the Quran as an individual gives us the freedom to interpret and apply the teachings based on our own understanding. Someone pointed something out to me recently that I should tolerate the differences of opinion. I disagree. I propose that we should celebrate these differences and through discussion we should achieve a deeper understanding of the Quran, of God, ourselves, our society, the people that we're with. So without further ado, I want to give you first of all the schedule for the next few hours. First speech is about Quranism and its role in the world, which we delivered by the chairman of the Quranist Network, Farouk A. Peru. After that, I will return to talk to you about the multiple paths to salvation. We should then have some time for some questions and hopefully some answers. Uh, then we have Nadia Chow, Cherry's topic, which will be what does the Quran talk about. Our secretary, Jacqueline Duval, is next with a testimonial. And then, time pending, we should hopefully have a, we should be returning back with fruit, we'll be talking about the Quran and how it explains itself. We should then have sufficient time for an open discussion about Quranism. At 7.15, we will look to wrap, our, wrap up our first conference. Bathrooms are outside if the fire alarm rings or the fashion we are meeting.